Hi, my name is Kevin Kelly. I'm a student at Brigham Young University. I'm studying special education, and today I'm going to talk about um, Siri on the iPhone and how it can um, benefit people with disabilities. And now, um, if you're not familiar with Siri, it's a program where you can speak to your phone and it can do all sorts of commands for you. There's a lot it can do. It can look up uh, information on the web, it can search for articles, images, it can tell you sports scores, um, the weather forecast, it can change settings on your phone, it can, it can make phone calls, uh, voice or FaceTime calls, it can do all sorts of stuff. Um, but today I'm going to focus on how it can be used um, kind of as an alternate to um, composition of written materials, so how you can use it to, to write things. Now, because uh, you know, I could spend, make a really long video showing you everything that Siri can do. Um, so, um, on uh, if you have the iOS 8, the newest operating system as of now, um, on iPhone, you can even activate Siri without touching it. You just have your phone. You just have to say, "Hey Siri," and it will start working. Of course, you have to go into your settings and turn that um, system on. Um, but for it to work, it also needs to be plugged in to a power source. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in now. Now, um, one of the first thing, or one of the things. Is, I'm going to use it for here is to write a text message. So I will um, ask Siri to send a text message. So, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Send a message to my wife. Okay, what do you want to say to Jen Kelly? I love you. I hope you're having a great day. Period. Your message to Jen Kelly says, I love you. I hope you're having a great day. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I'll send your message. See, that's pretty cool. But, um... I just hit the home button just because I don't want Siri to pick up everything I'm saying right now. Um, because it'll do that, <laughs> but you know that it, you don't have to, that you can just keep talking and keep giving commands and it'll keep going. So it's pretty cool that way. Um, another thing I can do is send emails. Oh, and just by the way, just a quick note, when I asked to, um, to send a message to my wife, you have to go in and pre-program the, who the relationships are or, won't know who your wife is. You, know, you might have to say a name. But, um, anyway, hey Siri. Hey Siri. New email to my wife. Which email address for Jen Kelly? Home or other? Home. What's the subject of the email? Hello. What would you like your email to say? Hi, honey. I'm practicing using Siri to send an email for an assignment for class. Period. Here's your message to Jen Kelly. Titled, Hello. It says, Hi, honey. I'm practicing using Siri to send an email for an assignment for class. Ready to send it? No. To continue, you can send, cancel, change subject, add, or change message. Cancel. Okay, I won't send this. See, sorry, I just realized I wasn't really holding that very well so you could see it. But, um, yeah, see, so I decided, eh, I don't really need to send that message to my wife so I could cancel it, and that was, that was pretty good. Um... And uh, one more thing that Siri can do as far as writing things for you, it uh, can write a note just to, so you have something to refer back to. Um, hey Siri, create a note.
create note. Okay, I can take that note for you. Just tell me what you want it to say. For the test, study chapters 5, 6, and 7. Okay, I created your note. It says, for the test, study chapters 56 and 7. Well, I didn't want it to study chapters 56, but pretty close. I mean, I could still look at the note and um, probably remember what it was. Uh, you could also set that as a reminder. So, you know, say, remind me at 4 p.m. to study those chapters. So that's pretty cool. You know, I think that's a pretty neat uh, tool that can help a lot of people who may not be able to use their hands and uh, who might be able to um, write notes or text messages or emails and without even with using more than their voice. So um, hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.